Don't forget to sub and like to the channel. Sick. Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. Um, right, today we are going to do a service on a Clitoran C1. Um, now, this is what we're going to be fitting. That's an oil filtration, man. Decent quality oil filter you want, really. Sparklington's, uh, Bosch ones, air filter, man again. Uh, and that's a cabin filter. I just got a shitty cross on one of that because I mean, a few farts dropped in it are getting through, ain't gonna kill you or fuck the car up. Uh, also got some screen wash because this is a girl's car, so it's not got any screen wash in it. And this is the oil. Um, I just own brand shit, but it was cheap and it is rated right. Where is it now? There you go. C3. That's that's what matters. And 5.30s. So to start with, well, I'm just preparing this because we've got my apprentice helping me today um, when he when he comes down. Uh, but to start with, first thing that we're going to do is, is probably going to be open the bonnet. Uh, that would be a good start, so let's do that. Oh yeah, I also put it on some ramps so I can fit my belly under it. You don't really need that on these, they're quite easy to get to, but the bonnet release, uh, yeah, girl's car, um, bonnet release is on left hand side there. So we just pull that and then the bonnet comes up like magic. Right, so the first part of the process of this uh, extravagance is to start the car up. And if you look at that, it's 132, let's turn this shit off. If you look at that, it's done 132,000 miles, this car, and it actually drives like brand new. I'm not even exaggerating, it's such a good little car, this. Uh, so let's start it up and get the oil warmed up. I'll just leave the 1KR beast ticking over for a little bit. Right, so whilst we are waiting for the engine to get up to temperature, we're going to do the cabin filter, which is, I believe that's it, and you just pull it out. As with everything on these cars, it's very complicated. And it's quite dirty, actually. Yes! Look at that, that's not been changed for a bit, has it? Let's uh, compare that to the new one, which is from your car parts. So there is half a chance that it's right. So let's do that. That's quite impressive. I mean, that is properly full of COVID, that in it. I mean, <laughs> nice. So let's. Uh, I don't know if you noticed this as well. This filter's got like cutouts in it. So when you put the shitter back in, you can sort of bend it into place. See, the thought of everything, I mean, I think that's the Toyota side of things, not the French side of things, but let's squeeze that back in. And if you look under there, sort of like I said, that way up so you can bend it. Oh, not really showing it, look like that. And just feed it in and push it in. With... Where am I pointing that? Is that pointing anywhere near where we're looking at what? slides in and then just clips in so happy days we can breathe again there we go so let's uh let's move on to the next part of the process well, now the apprentice has arrived and as you can see is completely focused on the job in hand yeah so she's purring away getting nice and warm so oil drops out nice and uh nice and runny uh what else we'd do normally but i haven't got the bits for me is we'd want to lubricate things so cables um door hinges check straps usually i use a um, motorcycle chain lube because it gets in the nuts and crannies evaporates away and then leaves leaves the grease behind so it's good shit. um another thing what we're not going to do but we sh what we would normally do is check the brakes now the handbrake on this is mint um, I mean, it's not rolled off, and I'm hoping it's not going to roll off and squash me when I'm underneath it. But the handbrake's mint, and I don't know if anyone's watched my other videos, but I changed the distance pads probably 200 miles ago or something. So I would assume that they're okay. Um, so we're just going to do basically an engine service today and change the cabin filter, which we've already done. Also, while she's purring away, we might as well fill this up. 
which I will leave to my um, to the apprentice. It's an apprentice job that. Yeah, I do it. Right, so that just goes into this orifice here. What? Hold on, hold it. Yeah. Hold, hold it with handle. Yeah, right. Right, pour it in in there. Where? In that one there. Where? Nowhere else. Yes. Someone stop. Uh, it'll all fit in. Right. Well, most of it's going on the floor. Hold on a minute, do it. It's going everywhere. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, this is going well. Stop. Yes. Is it hard? Uh, it's all over the floor, but it's okay. I'll put the oil in. Now, we'll top that up with just clean water in a minute because that's concentrate. But we've got a lovely clean engine mount. Go on, turn it off. Right, yeah, take key out. Right, now let's drop the oil. Right, so now we're going to drop the oil. So, first we shall take the oil cap off because then it lets air in and lets the oil out faster. And then we'll go underneath the car. And there is the oil filter just underneath the vehicle next to the sun. So, we're going to take that off. I might not be able to do this with one hand, but. Oh. She's going. It's warm. You get the idea. So I'll take that off. Right, so I've cracked that off. Sometimes you might need something to, to grab hold of it, but I've just done it with my hand because I'm the Hulk, obviously. Um, the oil's dirty and I thought it was gonna be. So let's, uh, let's throw that filter in there and let's get some rag and clean our hands-ish. This is gonna go everywhere, so I'll keep on filming because it's gonna it's gonna throw it all over my face probably. Oh no, it didn't. How boring. Right, so that's one part of the job. Right, so now we've got the filtration device removed. We're going to remove the sump plug, which is a 14 milli, and then we've cracked that off. And I'll keep filming this, but money shot because this is always a satisfying part. And the car is leant backwards because it's on ramps. And the hole is at the back of the sump. Which oil? adds up nicely. That is oil, do it, look. There we go, that's oil. It looks like slime. Hmm, I suppose black slime, that's a bit more like oil. But if that's your interpretation of it, that'll do. Right, so this is the new oil filler and this is the sump plug. And I usually, no, not usually, but quite often you get a new sump washer in with your filter but we haven't got that this time so we're just gonna have to reuse it uh, it's not the end of the world i'd prefer a new one but it's not the end of the world so we'll put the oil filter on first because the sump is still draining and something that you want to do when you put your oil filter on is you want to get a bit of the old oil on that rubber seal and what that does is it lubricates the seal i've got it everywhere just run it round there and it lubricates that seal. So effectively you can tighten it up tighter, it more, more easily than it seals. Now what else you can also do, because the oil filter faces upwards, is you can fill the oil filter up. Now you can't always do this because on some of them, the oil filter might be on its side. Oh shit, I put too much in, now oh, that'll do. And then it'll just piss out. But yeah, we'll fill this up and then we'll throw it on. Right, so now we shall put the new filter on, which has got oil in it. And it's got oil all over the outside as well, which makes it lovely to do. And then I'll get a proper grip of that in a minute, but you want to tighten it up pretty much as tight as you can do it by hand. Right, so another little thing that I like to do just to waste a bit of oil is before I put the sump plug back in, this is going to be fun. Yes. I like to put a little bit of oil through just to rinse the sump out and we've got spur anyway because these don't set that much but uh, just it don't really do anything it's just it's just me being a knob really but yeah I like to do that it makes me feel better all right so that's just uh, new oil that's coming out now anyway and it's pretty much stopped so we shall put our sump our sump plug back in and give that a nip and let's tighten that up. Now there will be a torque setting for this, but quite frankly, I don't know what it is and they haven't brought my torque wrench on, so just do it till it's nipped up. You don't need to swing off it. And we'll wipe that oil off as well, just so we can see if it is leaking in the future. 
So let's go back up to the top of the engine. So the next exciting thing to do is to fill the engine with oil. But I don't need to film that and I could do with two hands to do that. So I'm going to put some oil in it. I think these take about three and a half litres in all. Uh, about three litres in the sump. So I'm going to put about two and a half in it and then I'll measure it. Oil in it so it's, uh, it's up to level but we haven't run the engine yet. Which will fill the oil filter up more because it won't be fully full. And the car's leaning backwards so we need to run it first. Start it up. Wait for oil light to go out. And yep, yeah, obviously hope for the oil light to go out. And oil circulating there. And then we shall turn it back off and then we'll leave it until we've done everything else. Right, well as you can see that will benefit from being out of there because it is quite dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to take this glorious machine and we're going to reverse it off these ramps and then we're going to do the spark plugs and the air filter and check the oil level again yeah so now we're going to get to the spark plugs and the air filter so we need to take these clips off so go and clip them off just like this go on just push it that way which way like away from it like that no other way downwards like it's not not that hard no you've got to push it it's not hard to do go on you're not pushing it hard enough no with your thumb like that, what? I don't want to do it. Well, that's what I'm trying to show you. Hey, you're a little cute. I can do it. Come push it. Right, so, well, we've done that. So now this just pulls off. And. Is that an engine? That is an engine. Well observed. That's the air filter, which doesn't look horrendous, but we've got a new one. And then. We're going to take these coil parts out. So, yeah. How do you do it? Well, you know how to use a ratchet. <laughs> Hold on, let me. No. <laughs> Not like that. How do you do right, it? Right, you put it on straight. Come on. Do You've it. done this before. Oh, yeah. Right, carefully. Don't, <laughs> don't yank it. Right. Right, gently. Right, I'm not going to do it then, you. Yeah. Oh, come on. God, we'll get your thumb off it. Once you've cut them off, actually, right, you don't need the ratchet. Look, watch this. Once you've cut them off, that one's a little bit rusty. Right, so we can set the ratchet off. And then just take them out like a screwdriver. Go on, you check them out. Other way, yeah. Right, no, yeah, keep on going that way, yeah. And then we'll remove these coil parts. See? You knew how to do it. Right, so as you can see, all these bolts are out, so we'll just throw them in there. So pull them out and put them in there, do we? Yes. And then we find the other bolt. Yes. Don't need to get it. Then we need to pull them off. Is it going to spark? No. It'd be funny if it did, but it's not going to go worry about it. Right, so drop that one down there, that one there, that one there, and then we need a 16mm spark plug socket to remove the spark lanterns. Right, so now, spark plug socket, and yeah. you're not going to undo it with your hand this. Let me put it on. Oh. How do you do it? Right, and then you use this tool, you know, the ratchet. Yeah. And then hold it there. Yeah. Right, and then now twist it. Yeah, other way. Not other way. Yeah, that way. So, Dad, it's if you're going to do that, I'm not. I'm just showing you how to do it. You can do the other two. Right, so that one's loose, and then you do that one. Right, now do the same with that one. Yeah, no, pull it. You don't push it. I'm pulling it. As... No, you're pulling it upwards. Let's try again. Right, pull it. You don't need to push it. Right, pull it now. Pull it that way. Like that. Right, you hold that bit, look, I'll show you. Look. That's all you've got to do. It's not you you you're fighting with it rather than right, go on, do it last one. It's too strong. It's not strong. Stop. Right, go on. Pull it hard. Hard. Do it like do this, hard. Yeah, go on. Uh, not upwards, you're gonna snap it. Which way? This way. Pull it round like that. Look. Right, now you take them out, go on. 
And they're not under that way, you've got to screw them out that way. This way? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, there you go. Now keep on doing that, it's a ratchet, you just keep on going backwards and forwards. Magic. There you go, see? Right, so in this socket set, I've had this socket set for probably about 13 years or something, and we still have all the 10 millis and everything in it, but the one thing that we're missing is in here, we're missing the rubber johnny out of there to pull the spark plugs out. So what we'll do is, if you just use the coil pack, you. just slide it on, then you can pull your sparklers out. And... They're not that bad, actually, but we've got new ones. They've got a bit of wear on them. <laughs> right, do the other one. Get the other one. It's Use that one on the other one. Use that one. Go on. It's red hot. It's not red hot, it's just a bit warm. Right, go on, pull it out, that'll get it. There you go, I'm see? There we go. Right, sparkle is removed. Right, and if you can see the old one to the new one, they're actually not bad. Um, but the edges on the electrode, which is that bit there, are a little bit rounded off, but there is plenty of life left in them, but for the price of them, we're just going to throw the new ones in anyway. Bugs, and they are supposed to technically gap them, but they are sort of pre-gaps, just inspecting them to make sure they've not been dropped or anything, and the gap's closed up. And they look fine, so let's put them in. Right, so these ones, I'll just put these in gently so they don't hit the sides and bend the negative. Try and drop them centralised. And then... Make sure not to cross. Yeah, whip it like a screwdriver, don't cross thread it. Spin it in nice and easy. Oh yeah, it's got sharp on edges where it's been where it's been hit with an armour, like most of my tools. Hit it with a hammer. Guess. Who? Oh, whose tools are they? Yours. So who's hitting with an hammer? You. Yeah. I've right, go on, screw it in. Because sometimes you have to hit things with hammers. It's just the way the world works. No, the you want doing it. Yeah, that's better. I'll get your screwdriver handle just a minute. Right, see, that's easy, you know. Tighten that up as much as you can with that, and then I'll nip them up with ratchet. Go on, foot speed here. Go on, foot speed. Go on, lad. Give it, give it some turbo. Go on, turn it up. Why are you doing that? So it doesn't hit your hands? Yeah. But well, your hands are nice and clean. Actually, actually that's pen. Yeah, no. I was going to say, that's where you're doing a proper job if you've got shitted up hands, but... Whoop them all the way down. Yeah. With Have this. you got new of these? Then? No, whoa, 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 you don't put that on yet. We've got to tighten them up yet. Have you actually got new of them? No, we haven't got new coil packs. You have you to don't... cut it off, though. Have you? No. Or do you just keep them? You want to change them if they break. How do you change them? Well, they unplug the... I'll just nip these plugs up to um, the desired torque settings. Click. Click. Why is it saying Chinese? Chinese? No, it's Japanese, I think, because it's Japanese engine. And so now we have the sparklers tightened down and we put our coil packs back into the situation where they belong. It's all exciting stuff. And. Then we get our, our little 10 millimeter M6 bolts, put them back in. These don't need to be particularly tight, they just nip them down. Oh, it's so tiring. So tiring, as you can hear. And give them some tightening. Hold it square on, hold it square on, pull. What's what you're doing? That from right, that'll do. Do the other one. I'll nip them up with ratchet in a minute. Right, so I just nip these up. It's ideal you want to hold the seal while you nip it up so it doesn't sort of twist against the side. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. Hold that and then tighten that. It doesn't have to be that tight, it's just a retaining bolt for the coil pack. Another thing we need to do is that was concentrated mix so let's just put some water in it dead gently. Yes. There we go. Now, I don't know if you can hear we've got some uh, motorbikes in the back there but motorbike right what was 
saying is while you're here you want to have a look at this that's better and as you can see this one is it's not too bad uh, i think i've cleaned it before actually when we got the car but yeah um, it's worth looking at because they do get a little bit shitted up on edges it's also easier to uh to top the oil up before we put the airbox back on not much easier but we might as well do it now the car's been stood for a while and it's on level ground again okay. i'm just checking oil level no, if you go antenna. That's a dipstick, do it. It's an antenna to me. Well, I suppose it probably could be an antenna if you wanted it to be. Is that Let's live? see where we are up to. Is that to. live? Uh, it's not live, but it's recording. And the oil is really send clean. Anna just a recording app. Well, you record it and then you save it and then you put it on a really basic video editing app and then you make a shit video for YouTube and it needs a little bit in it but you can't see it on camera because the oil's too clean uh, not very many because my channel's not very good but we'll just keep at it anyway um have a look at how much oil is in it do we pull that out oh pull it straight you're trying to pull it upwards there you go all right now you've got to be gentle in fact all right now it wants to be up to that mark there which if you look very very carefully you can see that it's bang on that mark pretty much right so now that brings us to the last part for today which is going to be to put this beautiful new air filter in as you can see i went for a man one because because i'm a man um let's compare it to the old one the old one's a man one as well and it's not that dirty but let's change it anyway because it's part of the service mm. so that just goes in there is like that, that. Air that's an air filter oh, can I try it now? no 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 don't start it yet look do it I'm lying. well you can sit in it but don't start it um that as you can see that fits there um as i was trying to demonstrate i mean it's it's all it's quite obvious really but you you put it into the i'll show you right there we go so this is the are you done? That was um, a useful thing to do. Right, so this is the, uh, uh, it, it, well, the airbox. Um, and that, the big side of that goes facing downwards there. And then you just pull these clips back and then put this on. And then when that's on there, you just line this up and you have to ease that into the once again nice and lovingly and then when it's all into place you just put these clips on and then that is your uh, your hair box and your hair filter in place and then what we'll do is we'll start it up oil level checked it bang on the mark plugs are in Oil's changed, but I have it, you know, it's a service. Um, and then we'll listen to it per three cylinder raw, just a second. Oh yeah. Yes. That, um, that belt's actually tight and it's fine. It's just because some dick just threw water all over it. So that's why it's squeaking. It doesn't need adjusting, it's perfectly fine. Um, but, Pushing the power the rack. I mean, I've not um, not done the brake fluid. It's basically just an engine service. But if you wanted to know, like, tyre pressures, uh, 32 all round of 34 if you're fat. And now we've just got to tidy up all this shit. And that's a wrap. Happy days. Service for another year. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, comment, ring me bell end, whatever you want to do. And there we go. That's one service C1 purring happily. Right, and uh, that's finished and we're almost finished, but I just forgot one thing. I forgot to do some some dad and offspring foot tapping. <laughs>